loves welcome back to my space if you're new here thank you so much for dropping by kindly don't leave without subscribing welcome to the family if you are an og i see you i see you guys another video and today it's a sit down because i missed you guys <laughs> it's a sit down so i'm going to talk about uh, a very controversial uh fashion item as you can tell i know you you can tell from the from the title of this video i'm going to talk about anklets and waist beads because guys <laughs> the reason as why i'm doing this video is because i came across a post from uh, a very good friend of mine his name is vin so they call him captain vin on facebook he's very influential guys check out on him like go check him out <laughs> go check him out and listen just just go through his content he's very very influential as i said and he's a great person so he wrote a poison pen he calls them poison pen it's just random facts so he wrote poison a poison pen um on anklet and waist bead. and i was like hmm what did you just say anklets are it's just a little accessory fashion accessory that is worn on your feet so he was like anklets have a lot of myths and misconceptions so i decided to do this and read and i asked on my social media i asked from a whatsapp status what you think what's your thought about anklet and i'm also asking here if you're watching this video can you let me know the myths and misconceptions that you have or you've had or you know about anklet and waist beads just drop them on the comments box so i'm going to be i'm going to be reading what you guys told me because i was like are we talking about the same item are we talking about the same thing because for me personally i have nothing against uh, anklets i have nothing against waist beads but i remember i wore waist beads some time back and my mom saw them and the, she was like holy shit what are these and then i wore an anklet and someone really walked he was like you're wearing anklets and he left and i didn't even understand i never even asked about it because i was like you know what this is just a, like the way you do earrings the way you do necklace it's the same thing with anklets because anklets make funny thing they make your feet happy you can do anklets with you know what your legs the legs are the very very um what do i say ignored the most ignored part of the body because you just wash your body whatever nini dress up nini cover your legs so most of the people don't even take care of their legs so i feel like when, once you throw in that statement anklet it gives that vibe and it makes you it's make it makes your legs happy they feel happy man they accessorize your legs the way you'll wear your watch the way you'll wear your your necklace it's the same way you will wear an anklet so as i said there are so many theories and there are so many theories that go around anklets and waist beads so many misconceptions so many things say and i'm like god who is this so according to poison pen if you wear anklets you have issues you have issues so if you were on your right according to me if you were on your right you are a prostitute <laughs> have you heard of that if you were on your left you are a lesbian really if you were both you're trying to attract men seriously which man you men you look for boobs you go for us you go for boobs and then again when you wear anklets you can come and say we, we we are trying to attract you seriously no i just dressed my legs up i'm not i'm not trying to attract anyone to attract anyone i'm just trying to make my, my legs look good i'm just trying to dress up for this occasion because i said you can do accessories for any occasions and clients can go for any occasion as long as you know how to make them as long as you know how to mix and match you can wear one or multiple you can layer them up you can wear um, different kind of uh, anklets that brings me to the different types because anklets so they can be you can we have chain 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 ones we have chain anklets we have string anklets we have beaded anklets and the beads we have we can wear glass beads you can wear um, clay bead you can wear plastic bead sea beads all these beads you feel me so 
meaning with depending on the type of um, occasion you're going you can have different or depending with your liking because not everyone can do um beaded anklets and not everyone loves uh chain anklets because some people react their skin reacts yeah so you choose what makes you happy but according to these people anklets are evil according to the society we're living in today anklets are evil can you believe that how are anklets evil how are waistbands are those waist beads are those beads we wear around um our waist so it's it comes to my attention that if you wear more than two like you wear more than two layers of West Bay, you are a prostitute. You lay, you wear, you layer to four, you are a lesbian. You layer to five, you're good in bed. Oh my God, how do you even measure West beads? Like, how good in bed someone is because of the West beads? Like, society, tell me how, because I feel like, hey, if that's the measure, then I'm going to layer them up. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Anyway, just kidding. But again, if that's how you measure how good someone is in bed, because of the layers of waist beads they have, seriously, seriously, the societies, there's some culture in Kenya, and I know other countries, some people who wear waist beads, like it's traditional to them. It's a tradition to wear waist beads for their own purposes. Some they say they protect you from evil. Some say they say from nini. Also, anklets, there are cultures that wear anklets up to today. Anklets zilivalua and zizakitambo. If you check photos, zakitambo, makilete mia slavery, kuna watu alikuwa naba anklets. So I don't understand how, after evolving, getting wiser, having brains and everything, now it's the moment when people think, this shit, this accessory is evil. How? After all the evolution of man, like your brain has developed, and then size someone who is in their late 20s or early 30s is comfortable to tell you that, you know what, you are a prostitute because you have anklets, or you are a lesbian. Seriously, who brought about these measures of anklets? Anyway, as I said, anklets were one from Kitambo. There are some culture, cultures that wear their waist, bands, their waist beads up to today. There are some cultures that they wear anklets up to today. I don't know about Muslims, but according to Muslims, I don't think it's prohibited. If I'm wrong, just tell me. Let, let me know in the comment section. But I know Muslims, friends of mine who do anklets. I know it's not, I, I think it's not forbidden. When it comes to Hindus, it's their thing. Like Hindus do anklets on the wedding, like the bride and the whatever, the maids and nini nini. They do their it's no, it's it's during their wedding, they have anklets, lazima, and they don't wear one. They don't wear a single anklet. They wear so many, but you're like, hmm. And you know them, they wear a, they wear like chain ones, diamond and gold, and you're like, madam. And you can imagine you have a very expensive anklet, very sophisticated, back in the Gina, very sophisticated, very beautiful, and then someone tells you you are a lesbian or just judges you because of that, which is so wrong. I feel like this is a very, very wrong way to approach this. But anyway, according to Christianity, tell me if I'm not if I'm wrong. Tell me if you are a Christian, you read your Bible, you know everything about your Bible. Tell me if I'm wrong. Anklets are not prohibited anywhere in the Bible. In fact, the only place that anklet has been mentioned, it's two places in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah 16 and chapter 18. Isaiah 16 and chapter 16 and chapter 18. That's the only part I guess in the Bible. Maybe I haven't read other parts, but that's the only place I know they have talked about anklet and there's nothing, nothing. You can go and read that. There's nothing negative or positive said about anklet that's the funniest thing so where are you christian guys coming in with the ideas like who said you are a prostitute because you wear anklet and funny thing if you wear them on according to poison pen if you are on your right, you are a prostitute. If you are on your left, you are a lesbian. If you are on both, you are attracting men. So I have a friend who tells me she is left-handed. So every single accessory she wears, 
goes to the right. So you can imagine she loves anklets and her anklets must go to the right side. So she wear anklets to the right leg. I have a friend who never does accessories on the right. So they always do accessories on the left. Their watch is always on the left. Everything, rings are always on the left. So that makes them, their accessories on the left. So will you tell me they are lesbian? No, they're not. Because they're very, very, very fucking straight. They are straight. Very straight. But because the society has given us this idea uh, of like, mm, oh, you, you condemn us because of a fashion statement. Like this is a fashion accessory, like a fashion statement accessory. You know, you guys, please. I like, I like me a girl who walks in front of me with a crop top on, with a crop top and waist beads. That shit is so cute. That shit looks good. Let's just be honest. It looks so good. Anyway, I'm going to read about the comments you guys told me on my phone as I end up this. I'm going to read a few. Someone said, anklets are cute, but not for everyone. Check your legs. <laughs> not for everyone. Check your legs. Someone told me, as I said, check your legs before you do the anklet. So, <laughs> Someone else told me, bullshit the people who always create beauty standards and are here to say that this is right and this is wrong. Because for me, anklets are just anything else like waistbands, like earrings, like ukitaka kuva rings, ata kwa vidoleza mgu va. You guys, someone came and told me, you know what, you don't have to shout, you are a prostitute. Or go to the club and scream, I want a man. Just throw in your anklet. Seriously. 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 A man, this is a man. He said, there's nothing cute like a lady in waist beads and anklets. Imagine. Who are you? If this one loves that, who are you? Who are you to condemn me? Uh, who are you to say no? To my anklets. I've decided to wear this as a fashion statement. Eh? It's the same thing. It's the same way I'll just do G-string and you'll start complaining about G-string and be like, oh, you want your wife, you want me to be now. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. We're not doing mother union. So, hey, let me just enjoy myself. Hey, hey. then there's a very long one. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you. This one is from a lady. I sent me a photo of her in two anklets and she was like I, I used to wear one but ukiva I used to wear one but ukiva kwa right oh you are lesbian ukiva kwa left oh you are like in open relationship and you are saying you are open to hooking up wow so there's that part of you are in an open relationship ah then this must be a very good idea of, of pointing out you you know what let's hook up really really all that just because of an anklet, seriously. Just because of a sh fashion statement. No, 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 no. Hey! She said, when one cut card, I, 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 I got these two and I haven't put, removed them since. Hey, yeah, she wears them daily. Hey. Then she was like, same with my waist beads. You see, same with her waist beads, my friend. And when it comes to her waist beads, I had a guy, alikata zangu, atiko zinatumia kumroga. Seriously, natumia aje West Bid kukuroga. Man, how? How? How am I going to use West Bid to roga you seriously? As I said, it's a fashion statement. It's something I can call Shito and be like, hey Shito, I need waist beads. Hey Shito, I need anklets. Shito is not a mrogi. Shito has just beads and, um, oh, and strings and she'll just fix them with pure heart. Pure heart. So how are you going to tell me it's for, to roga you? Seriously, guys. And then waist beads. Oh, Mara in Amanisha Unapenda Sekete. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, please comment down here. <laughs> comment below. When you wear waist beads, Atina Manisha unapenda sekete. But she goes on and says, I mean, who doesn't love sex? Mara, oh, I must be very good in bed. As I told you, they say you must be very good in bed. She made a joke and she said like that. 
I love I sleep a lot. In fact, the numeroka, and this time she's telling me numeroka, it's already three. How can time be good in bed? And she sleeps that time all that time. But anyway, guys, sincerely speaking. Mara was to be in a kuroga, mara mtu anapenda sekete, mara seriously. When are you going to stop judging us because of accessories? It's the same thing people say, oh, unabaya ring moja mrefu ingine fupi. You are showing to do what, you are lesbian, you are showing, seriously. All these, all the, hey, I must read the final one. Let me just read this, this one. Hmm? Waist beads and anklets, unapenda sekete. Wewe ni lesbian ukiva left, wewe ni boko ukiva right. Aki, this is so wrong. And then he continues, this is a guy, and then he continues and says, but I don't mind you wearing as long as they are of same color. I asked, why same color? Multiple colors mix, mixes a man during sex. Why are you focusing on my waist? Why are you focusing on my anklet? Why are you focusing on my waist beads? Why are you focusing on my anklet? Why are you doing the act holding my leg? Seriously, why? Focus, Fo what you could lose focus? Focus on this. So anklets to me, anklets to me, they are just another fashion statement item, very cute, perfect, minimal for your feet, and amazing. Please, ladies, don't be, don't be, don't be ashamed of your, of your accessories, yeah? If you feel like that's what you want, go for it. If you feel like it gives you happy feet, go for it. Let no one tell you otherwise. Let no one tell you otherwise. So guys, a lot, that was a lot to, that was a lot to swallow. That was a lot, a lot. Like, just, I can't imagine one single fashion item can bring all these things. Please, wear. Wear what you want, madam. Mimi, ukinipata kwa barabara with my anklet and you don't like them, please go. Just. If you don't like my waist beads, hit that door. Hit that door. If you feel like... I am a prostitute because of a, I have an anklet. Congratulations for creating your own beauty stuff, for you creating your own um, measure, your own measure of what I am supposed to be wearing, of what I'm supposed to be, or, you know, in general, what I'm supposed to be. But again, fashion anklet, anklets are very minimal accessories and I love them. So if you love anklets, go for them. Thank you guys for engaging me on the... Hey, but anyway, to each their own, to each their own, please don't judge someone because they have an anklet or a waist bead. You don't know what. You don't know what they love. You don't know. Please don't tell someone is a prostitute or he told someone at it because the society has said she is a lesbian because of her on the left. You go hitting on them. Please don't. Please don't. Respect my choice of accessory. Let's respect each other's choice of accessory. <laughs> we stay with what you know. Let me stay with what I believe. You know, our beliefs are totally different. We all don't have same taste to things. So if it doesn't make you happy, please. Just, if it doesn't affect you, if it's not on your feet, let it stay like that. Let it stay like that. Let it not bother you. Let it not bother you. Thank you so much, guys, for that. I love talking about this because I feel like, wow, this was this was a hot one. For me, they'll stand and still will be a fashion statement. So till next time, bye-bye. I love you guys.